Behind me here is a Home Depot store. And I'm here for one reason, one reason only. No, it's not for home improvements. It's to find out what Home Depot has for the 2021 Halloween season. Come on, let's find out together. And here we are. Right at the bat, they have some really cool items I see, including this giant towering 12 foot Inferno pumpkin skeleton. If I'm not mistaken, I think Alan of the Revenge of the Apocalypse has this. Oh, it has animated eyes as well. That is awesome. Can't really appreciate how big and amazing it looks until you see it in person. Down below him, right by his feet, is a little girl here who don't think does anything, but she's holding a teddy bear. Tin tombstones, trick or treat. It's nice other tin. They got animated Sally and Jack, which, let's see, try me, okay. Okay, so her arm moves, there's a little bit of music playing. And she's singing. And let's see Mr. Jack here. His arms are moving a little bit. I'm not sure if he's supposed to have more movement or not. But they do have both of them here available. I think, uh, are they both the same price? Both $199. So for $400, you could have both of them. But uh, let's see what else. They got wooden signs here. Beware. One-Eyed Monster. Oh, look at this. A little angry gnome. Mickey. They got a... Is he on a bicycle or a tricycle? Yeah, they have a clown on a tricycle there. Mummy, a violin, pumpkin guy, a minion. Let's see, do these actually move? Oh yeah! Oh! It reminds me of, uh, from the Muppets. Is it Bunsen? Me, 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 me. It's riding with no hands. But yeah, we'll ride around and scare your animals or your pets. I'm gonna have to let him tip over so he doesn't keep riding. <laughs> they got a little Pennywise here. Who, uh, is not working. Hats. Oh, look at that. A little haunted house there. Very colorful. Yeah, that little tricycle thing's pretty funny. I can imagine having that in my house and jinxing your sale and going crazy after it. Some more yard stakes here. Oogie Boogie, Jack, Sally. Big fuzzy spiders. Spider webs. You don't need to buy spider webs, just don't clean your house for a couple weeks and they'll start forming. Scarecrows, pillows, these are more just like regular home decorations. Some pretty neat wreaths here though. Trick or treat with the witch legs coming down. Got the little hat on it, spiders. That one's uh, bats and pumpkins and ghosts. And the back wall here, up top we'll start, they do have inflatables. Big pumpkin guy there, they do have Oogie Boogie. They have Jack, they have a Scarecrow, uh, LED type uh, pumpkin, and you can see it lit up there. It's almost like holographic. And then we do have the ghost trees, and the uh, boo with the ghost and the witch, and more of them down here. Whole variety, big selection of inflatables here, including that big archway there too. And look at that one's like um. I guess like a spider with his eyes rotating. That is pretty neat. It is animated. It's not an inflatable, but it is a outdoor decoration. As we move down, let's continue. We'll go left to right here. We got fog machines, lighting effects. This is a grave and bones. Howling dog skeleton. Tombstone. Got 
containers of fog for your fog machines. More lights here. It's like fire. Three piece crimson and maize pumpkin set. Another pumpkin set here. Classic lanterns. You could put lights in if you want. Or no, they do plug in. They have lights built in. There's an angry one. Let's see if he lights up. Nope. Let's see if this one lights up. Oh yeah. It's got flames inside. Makes for a neat effect. This one's even bigger, more gruesome. They're not working. I think you have to pull the tags out, the tabs for the batteries. There's the Raven. Got a funny voice. Be aware, no one goes there. Crystal ball lights up. Pathway markers. Oh, these ones actually move. And the witches. I think the witches are more scarier than the skulls. There's a Reaper guy. Let's see, dude. He's got some music and some glowing eyes. Oh, he talks, his arms move. He's actually almost like a full animatronic. I wasn't expecting that. So, yeah, he moves and talks. Some more hanging items. Ghost. Headless or faceless guy, Reaper, a witch. Here's the inflatables, the boxes of them. And we do have the boneyard, <laughs> everything from the dogs to little dogs, rats, humans. Look at that, Graven Bones, the Bone Throne, $199. That is a really cool piece. That'd be great for like a man cave or something. Got window clings. Let's see if we missed anything here. Got skeletons, scarecrows, little bales of hay, the artificial straw. Okay, we saw that. Let's check out some of these animatronics here. Try me. Does nothing. Not sure what she does. It's not working. Uh, try me. Oh, there we go. Reminds me of like Skeletor almost. He's pretty cool. He's got the full, full armor set. The big hatchet. And he's about six foot tall. And we got the big ship here. Look at that, the big skull, which has, I believe, light up eyes. Pile of skulls there. And whoever that thing or person is directing the ship, wish this would light up though. That was a really neat looking piece. Pretty big too. So this Home Depot website has more options. Let's see this one here. That's the one we saw before. Okay, so a little animatronic. This one here is Inferno Reaper. There we go. So he lights up, talks, about seven foot tall. There's even a sensor too, so it can be sensor activated. Got a tombstone cross there. Looks like it probably lights up. Oh, they got a jester here. $200, he's rocking back and forth. Got that devilish grin on his face. He's holding a mask. Little yard stakes for uh, lights. This is do not sell, so that is actually $400 that whole set there, but it doesn't light up as far as I could tell. I'm going to double check though. And more tombstones on my backside here. Do not sell. Another 12 foot skeleton. This one just has the animated eyes. And here's the chair display. Do not sell, but here it is how it looks. Looks like something out of Indiana Jones Temple of Doom. That is a really neat piece. If it ever goes on sale and they have it, I might be interested in picking one up. This one's a decaying skull or a skeleton. 
And now we're back here in the corner. There is this giant angel, eight foot giant sized dark angel. I wish these would turn on though. They look so impressive. Let me see if I get any of these working. I'll be right back. So I was trying to get them working. I checked that boat is plugged in. The angel's plugged in, but I can't get them to turn on. There's no button or trigger or sensor I could find to activate that. And the step button, the try me for the dark angel is not working. So unfortunately we can't try those out, but I'm sure there is clips on YouTube to see how they do work. But I have to say Home Depot has a really great selection here. Everything from giants to miniature and for every price point. Some of it is pricey, but again, that is to be expected. You know, you do have to plan on spending a good chunk of change to get items that you do want to display at your house or anywhere else. But whether it's uh, inflatables, animatronics, or just simple home decorations, they have a really great variety. And the animatronics, they always seem to impress me. They actually have more here than Spirit Halloween. So just get that um, consideration that the prices may not be the best in your eyes, but they do have a lot of items here in stock or on their website. So that was a look here at Home Depot for the 2021 Halloween season. This is the Wilkesbury store, the one I come to every year, and they have a great selection. I am blown away as to how many animatronics they do have and the quality of them as well. Right now, they currently have more than what Spirit Halloween has. And I'd love to hear from you guys. Comment down below. Tell me which favorite animatronic of yours you would love to have. For me, I love that little gondola ship, the Dark Angel, and the Towering Inferno. They were really impressive. Now, not everything is in stock, so you'll want to check your local store or website to see what they do have, but they do have a nice selection there. Even that chair was really impressive, that skull chair and the miniature animatronics, and even the inflatables are really cool too. I mean, great variety for a home improvement store. By far exceeded what I thought they were gonna have for 2021. So if you wanna see more Halloween related videos and store tours, check down below in the description for the Halloween playlist. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and like always, I'll see you in the next video.